that has come uh, through the Facebook from Doug Brister. He asks, how do you see GMOs? Are they part of the reality unfolding? Or are they are a spiritually corrupt food that has been driven by man to feed the body and line pockets rather than food that feeds the soul? What are your thoughts on this? The, I think uh, there's a whole lot of corruption in the question, whoever dug from wherever. <laughs> First let's understand, food does not feed the soul, food feeds the body. Let's not complicate things. Like people are talking about soul mates and you know stuff, body needs a mate, understandable. <laughs> Mind needs a mate to some extent. The soul if it needs a mate, it's a lost thing, <laughs> it's not a practical thing. So, soul does not need food, it's not… First of all, you don't know what it is. You just use the word because everybody is using it, anyway. GMO, I think meddling with nature at that level is quite irresponsible. Uh, these are purely commercial forces, definitely not concerned with long-term well-being of the human beings. We should have never allowed it into this country. I believe the new government is not going to go that way, in India at least.